Thank you. Now, there is a little good news for Broncos country. Some fans will be allowed at games starting September 27th. Won't be in time for Monday's home opener, but it is something that the governor says should be a reasonably safe experience. Connor McHugh is at Empower Field at Mile High tonight. Connor, explain how this is going to work out. Well, Karen, come week three, it is going to be a very different scene here at Mile High. There will be sm uh, mask requirements, small crowds, and absolutely no tailgating. And of those crowds, most of them will be season ticket holders, but the governor says attendance caps could change as our state makes progress with COVID-19. Though 53 years have passed, Broncos superfan Tim Larison still remembers his first ever home opener at Mile High Stadium. The ticket price for a kid at 11 years old at the time was $2. The next year, he bought his first season ticket, and since then, he's run the team's booster club, attended a Super Bowl, and only missed one opening game. I missed the Peyton Manning debut. Now, because of COVID-19, Larison and other fans have a decision to make. And Power Field at Mile High will look and feel very different this year. Starting September 27th, the new normal for Broncos games will begin. It includes a cap of 5,700 mask-wearing fans broken up into groups of 175. Each group will have their own entrance, touchless bathrooms, and concessions. Seating will involve socially distant pods of one to six close friends or family members. That would allow uh, for the groups that do have a outbreak, <clears throat> the contact tracing and the notification. A lottery for tickets will be mostly reserved for season ticket holders, but Larison won't be joining. Given my health, I'm in the 60s. I have to be cautious, so I will not be a part of the raffle. Instead, he'll happily watch the game from home. I just want to see a win on that Monday night, and I'll be happy, even if I'm not there. Now, today the governor responded to criticism that he is playing favorites with the Broncos as opposed to other outdoor venues like Bandemir Speedway. He said it's this simple. The rules are the same for everyone, and right now the Broncos are following them. Live tonight in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.